Wegmans is coming to Chapel Hill next year, but people who live near the side of the future store are already concerned about the traffic. Tonight, town leaders tried to ease those concerns. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley is live there tonight with how leaders and the community responded. Colleen. Yes, yeah, so Marius and Angela, check this out. This is Old Durham Road, and there's two neighborhoods back here. And the people we spoke to tonight who live there told me traffic is a mess already. So that's why they're concerned with this Wegmans going up right here. Things are only going to get worse. It's already backed up incredibly badly. Pat Shane has lived near Standish Road since 1971 and says as Chapel Hill has grown, so has the traffic problem. Traffic is already an incredible mess in that entire area. And with this Wegman scheduled to open next year, Pat and her neighbors worry about the extra traffic it will bring. Currently, the plan is for drivers to enter the store from the service road or Old Durham Road. The only exit will be onto Old Durham Road, right into their neighborhood. It's only going to get worse. There'll be accidents. People, it'll, the property values will go down. And it will no longer be a desirable place to live. I think it was not clearly thought out and it was very poorly planned. What improvements do you have planned for it now? They took their concerns to town officials who Monday night presented several traffic calming measures in hopes of reducing congestion, speeding, and drivers cutting through the neighborhood. For example, no truck through signs, electronic speed signs, and always stops. They have proven to be positive in reducing the cut through traffic problems, not only in our Chapel Hill community, but nationwide. The town hopes to put the new traffic patterns in place before the store opens and then reassess six months later. So just for some context here, I said we're on Old Durham Road. This is where that Wegmans is going to be. The other side is the service road that runs parallel to 15501. A lot of people asking tonight, well, why can't there just be an entrance, an exit from 15501 into the store's parking lot? Two reasons. One, that highway is under DOT control, and it does not meet the state requirements to build an entrance or exit onto that highway. It's too close to the existing intersections. Reporting live in Chapel Hill, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.